Hey everyone, back to the YouTube Machines video. This is the sixth update for the uh, full Glastonbury period. Looks like it'll be an unsettled period. Uh, the charts have been deteriorating uh, as we've been going along. We started off looking really quite good when I started doing these videos. It looked very good indeed. But as we've gone along, uh, things have turned more and more unsettled. And tonight is probably the most unsettled um, most unsettled run that we've had so far. We're virtually uh, at the event itself now, of course. So it does look as though it's going to be at least a very showery period. There will be some drier spells at times, but I think overall prepare for some quite heavy downpours on most days uh, throughout the period. Before we get on with the update though, just want to mention the advertising. If you could play the video ad, uh, you'll be supporting GazWebBiz.com. Thanks very much for doing that. So here we are for Wednesday. Well, I know a lot of you have pitched up your tanks. We've got a ridge of high pressure still just about hanging on across the country. So apart from a few showers in the west, should be mainly dry. The upper air temperatures are going to be a little bit down on what we've had today. It will be feeling a bit cooler tomorrow. Mainly dry. There could be a shower even tomorrow down in the southwest. But I think most parts uh, will be dry. And probably glass will be just about holding on to dry weather. Temperatures are still quite good at around 21 or 22. Um, but it'll be feeling a bit cooler and fresher when it has done today and then things really start to go downhill as we go from 30 so if low pressure will be developing down to the south and to the southwest of the country the upper air temperatures no problem with them but we've got these heavy showers maybe in some longer spells of rain developing down across the southwest so that will be impacting Glassbury through the course of Thursday probably starting off dry but heavy showers or maybe some longer spells of rain developing through Thursday afternoon and that will go on into Thursday evening it could be quite a wet evening and night um, on Thursday evening Thursday night. There could be some convection with that so maybe risk of a rumble of thunder or a flash of lightning as well. Temperatures still reasonable at around 20, 21 um, but they'll be lowering through the uh, course of the coming few days. The low pressure is more or less over the top of the country uh, on Friday. So what's going to happen is that overnight Thursday night a band of rain will push northwards and east across much of England and Wales so that will be quite heavy. And then we go into sort of a showery scenario as we go into Friday. The upper air temperatures are lowering so temperatures will be cooling a little bit. There's the uh, precipitation forecast for Friday. A lot of rain across much of England and Wales. Most of that is shower so it won't be continuous rain uh, but there'll be some heavy showers some rumbles of thunder flashes of lightning maybe hail thrown in as well and some quite torrential downpours are certainly possible uh, even down in Glastonbury so it could get quite muddy actually by the time we get through to uh, Friday evening T uh, convection there is risk of convective potential uh, with those green colours so you have got the chance of lightning and thunder with those downpours temperatures are lowering we're going into the upper teens Celsius uh, by the time we get through to Friday. So temperatures are cooling down a little bit. Low pressure still over the country as we go through into Saturday. Uh, so the upper air temperatures are still on the cool side. And there's still the suggestion of heavy showers or maybe even longer spells of rain across much of England and Wales. Hail and thunder again could be uh, mixed in in some of those downpours. And there will be big downpours in place. Well, what you'll find is that uh, the showers will ease off as the sun goes down um, overnight. Probably not too many showers and in the morning. Probably not too bad. Then the clouds bubble up with the heat of the day. Day, and the showers really uh, break out through the afternoon and into the evening. Uh, Convective potential is there again on Saturday, so risk of hail and thunder. And then finally, as we go through to the last day of Glastonbury on Sunday, the low pressure is beginning to shift off to the east, but we've still got a trough really over the country in the upper atmosphere. Um, Upper air temperatures are cool, and we've still got a risk of showers. Maybe not quite as bad as Friday and Saturday, but still the suggestion is there of showers uh, on Sunday. Probably easing in intensity a little bit, but it's pretty heavy at times. Still the risk of hail and thunder, and temperatures are on the cool side by then, uh, at just 17 to 19 degrees. So it's going to be a showery uh, period, I'm afraid. Uh, it's not going to be the glorious year that we had last year, where it's virtually universally dry, apart from some rain uh, one I think there was, but uh, it was a good year last year. Not going to be the same this year. There will be heavy uh, downpours that you're going to have to contend with. There will be drier spells in between as well, so it won't be a complete washout, but uh, certainly some big downpours are possible. Uh, and there could be some hail and thunder mixed in with those showers as well. That's it for now. I'm uh, sure whatever weather it is like, you're going to have a good time anyway. Uh, it's probably going to be the last update because we're virtually at the event now. Uh, so uh, have a great time. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.